Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 28, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Don't be left behind. The six days after Christmas sale is in effect. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. Time is running out. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information you need to know on those platforms throughout the day. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First thing I want to mention today is something huge that one of our fellow denarians had pointed out to me a few days ago and I didn't realize what he was referring to. You see the CBI has reduced money supply from $50,209,385.00 down to $5,148,788.00 in November, yet more proof the new rate is in the 2020 budget. Thank you John for pointing this out for us. Why would the CBI reduce the money supply if they were not going to introduce the 2020 budget with a new rate? They wouldn't. Simply put, this is great confirmation that we are on the doorstep and the door just swung open and the rate change is just around the corner in my opinion. This is definitely something to be excited about. I will put the link to this in the description below so you can go check it out for yourselves. First article of interest for today. Parliamentary Finance. We strive to use all roads to implement the 2020 budget. The Parliamentary Finance Committee affirmed on Saturday that it is seriously seeking to use all roads to complete the budget for the next year in the event that it reaches the House of Representatives because any delay in its approval will harm the economic situation, noting that the current caretaker government cannot send the budget to Parliament. Member of the committee, Rep. Thamer Dibbon, said in a statement to information that the political differences regarding the nomination of the next prime minister have greatly affected the delay in approving the budget for the next year, because the current government is a caretaker government and it cannot send it to the House of Representatives. Thabin added, The committee hopes from the political blocs to reach a resolution to the crisis of naming the next prime minister for the purpose of approving the budget because any delay will harm the national economy and delay the completion of projects of ministries and government institutions, as well as delaying the procedures for job appointments and starting public projects that will clearly reduce unemployment rates. He pointed out that the committee is making a serious endeavor in pursuit of methods to complete the budget as soon as possible in the event it reaches Parliament, expecting that it will be completed during the next month because there are serious intentions of the political blocs to resolve the issue of the Prime Minister and his next cabinet cabinet. Next article of interest. With the stroke of a pen. The disappearance of 15 tons of gold in the Central Bank of Iraq, the former deputy. Jawad al Shuhaili revealed the disappearance of 15 tons of gold in the Central Bank of Iraq. al Shuhaili said in a press statement followed by al Akbaria that 15 tons of gold have disappeared in the Central Bank of Iraq. He explained, I filed a lawsuit with the public prosecutor, and the Central Bank replied to me not to buy gold, but he acknowledged the existence of gold. He added that the time of buying gold took place during the presidency of Sinan al Shabibi, and the loss came directly after it, noting that the central bank closed the case without adequate investigation. Next article of interest Baghdad sends the salaries of Kurdistan employees completely, and the region is awaiting this step. A source familiar with the matter said on Saturday, December 28, 2019 that the Kurdistan regional government has received all the salaries of its employees for this year, indicating that the Kurdistan regional government is awaiting the formation of the new government to discuss with it about the 2020 budget. The source said in an interview with Baghdad Today that the salaries of the region's employees for this year are called to the central bank in Erbil after they were sent by the Federal Ministry of Finance and they will be distributed to the employees of the region on the 5th day of January, 
pointing out that the territorial government is awaiting the formation of the new federal government in order to know the fate of the 2020 budget, which remains vague. He added that the Ministry of Finance will proceed successively with the distribution of the salaries of the 11th and 12th months beginning of each month of the next year, but the funds allocated for the salaries of the next year have not been sent yet because there is no agreement yet with the federal government in this regard. Next article of interest. Conscious, Al-Hakim and al abadi contact Saleh in preparation for an opposition movement to choose the Prime Minister. Today, Saturday, the MP from the al hikmat movement, Azad al-Murshidi, revealed the opposition political bloc's direction to support the selection of an independent Prime Minister during the next week while he disclosed contacts made by the current leader, Mr. Amar al-Hakim, and the head of the al-Nasser coalition, Haider al-Abadi, with the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh. Al-Murshidi said in a statement carried by the correspondent of Iraqi media news agency conscious that the President of the Republic will inevitably return to Baghdad, especially after contacts with some political leaders, including the head of the Wisdom Movement. Mr. Amar al-Hakim, and the head of the Victory Coalition, Haider al-Abadi, for his return to Baghdad. He added, the opposing blocs are al-Hikmah, al-Wataniya, al-Wataniya, and al-Nasser, who will move to choose an independent prime minister after negotiating with the construction and other Sunni forces. Al-Murshidi said, the situation will not bear further delay, and all contentious issues will be resolved next week including assigning the next Prime Minister. Next article of interest. Newspaper. The Building Alliance seemed a movement to isolate Baram Sali. This is the alternative. A leader of the Construction Alliance revealed today, Saturday, that a political movement had begun within the coalition in order to officially dismiss the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, from his position. The New Arab quoted a leader in the Construction Alliance who requested not to be named, that the leaders of the coalition agreed, in a meeting that included them within hours of Saleh's announcement that he refused to assign the building candidate and threatening to resign, to move to punish Saleh by removing him, due to lack of commitment to constitutional provisions, and breach of the deadline constitutionalism. He added that, the next two days will witness a political movement in this matter between the various political forces to discuss the isolation of the Iraqi president, and find an alternative agreed upon politically before the isolation, so that the scenario of Adel Abdul Mahdi does not repeat from the point of the constitutional vacuum, hinting that the current finance minister in the government Fuad Hussein, who was running for office, but political consensus excluded him from the presidency and granted him to Baram Saleh. It is noteworthy that the deputy speaker of parliament, Bashir Haddad, said in a statement, on Friday, that Saleh is considered resigned if he does not withdraw within a week, his message to the parliament. Next article of interest. Deputy, we will press Saleh Saleh to return to his duties and introduce the Prime Minister. The deputy of the Alliance of Others Movement, Abbas al called on Saturday to exert intensive parliamentary pressure in the coming hours on the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh to return to his duties to assign a candidate to the Prime Minister. Ali we said in a statement to information that all political blocs must be aware of the seriousness of the situation and agree on an acceptable person to head an interim government to manage the next stage. He added that the deputies are also required to pressure the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, in the coming hours to return him to work and assign a figure to head the government. The House of Representatives is continuing its legislative reform work and will vote on all laws that serve to calm the street, Ali we said. Next article of interest. Other. We will stand against any attempts to isolate President Saleh. The Saron Alliance announced, on Saturday, its support for President Saleh and to stand against any attempts to isolate President Baram Saleh. The coalition's representative, Rod al Maksousi described Saleh's position as patriotic and honorable, indicating that the Iraqi president rejected many political pressures to accept party candidates to head the government, and he also rejected the pressure of regional countries, 
but in reality he said yes to the desire of the Iraqi street. He stressed that, the alliance of Sarian will stand against any attempts to isolate the president and will be his first supporter. The coalition also demands him not to think about resignation, and the continuation of his constitutional duties in assigning a candidate to the next government, according to the directives of the people, the authority, and the leader of the Sadras movement Muqtada al-Sadr, and we stand with Saleh against any motion to isolate him. On Thursday, President Saleh announced his readiness to resign at the disposal of the House of Representatives, while at the same time apologizing for assigning Albana candidate as Ad al Idani to head the next government, while he subsequently left for Sulaymaniyah province. Next article of interest. Reform laws carry the law of the federal court to the next chapter. Member of the Parliamentary Committee, Bahab Mahmood, confirmed on Saturday that the federal court law will be transferred to the next legislative term, noting that the remaining time does not allow the legislation of the law in light of the political controversy. Mahmood said in a statement to the information that the passage of the House of Representatives with the legislation of the reform laws caused a delay in the legislation of the federal court law, noting that the federal court law needs more time and political understanding before presenting it on the agenda of the council. Mahmood added, the federal court law will be transferred to the next legislative term until all reform projects are completed. The Parliamentary Legal Committee had confirmed earlier that the federal court law had not yet obtained political consensus in order to present it to a vote, indicating that work continues to prepare the final versions of the law before it is submitted to a vote. Next article of interest. Russian Agency the trade exchange between Iraq and Saudi Arabia increased three times during the period of demonstrations. According to the Russian agency Sputnik, that the trade exchange between Iraq and Saudi Arabia rose to three times during the period of demonstrations that started on 1 October next. The agency said in a report that it had seen the information that the issue of approval of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Iraqi and Saudi sides coincided with the demonstrations in Iraq, something that served the Saudi side. She added that the trade exchange between Saudi Arabia and Iraq was up to $400 million, and during the period of the demonstrations it could rose to three times, as the trade exchange between the two countries reached $1 billion and $300 million. The agency noted that Iraqi merchants are heading towards Saudi Arabia because the Iranian goods are experiencing stagnation and reluctance to consume them, so the Saudi side took advantage of this and activated its commercial movement with Iraq with memorandum of understanding in order to bridge the shortfall that occurs in the Iraqi market due to the lack of import of Iranian goods. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss a beat, throughout the day I post articles in real time as I get them. Be sure to take advantage of, the 6 days after Christmas sale, today. Use the promo code, FEDENARIAN, for the additional discount on the already discounted price, time is running out, the planner will not be available after revaluation. Re Invest in your family's well-being, lock in your planner today, the link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today we are one day closer than yesterday, over and out for now, the Denarian.